Can you put it back together like it was new or what? Or is it always gonna be, give me trouble? Uh-oh. We got problems. You can't get any water. I can't cook. Phil's the plumber. He won't pay anybody. He's just gotta do it himself. Real men don't call plumbers. If he's gonna call himself a man, he need to know how to fix that on the spot. Now everything's going apart. We got a leak in the back room, and now water comes in. Maybe it's time to move. To do what? Move uptown. Uptown? We got enough money. Business is good. I don't think good. it's the money's the problem. I think it's the man standing right here. You're close to town, Kay. Go shopping. Yeah, live up around the subdivision. That's a death nail. That's the stage you go into before the gray. Get out of the woods, go to the subdivision, throw them in a hole. Well, I got news for you. You're going in a hole no matter where you hey, live in a subdivision or here. Mom and Dad, I love this house too. We can keep it. Just don't live in it. I'm going to get you in touch with my realtor. At least go look. OK. All right, we got to go to work. All Let's right. go. I've lived in this house you nearly know, 40 years, but Willie might have a good point. It may be time to move. The plumbing is fixed. Well, for how long, babe? We'll yeah. get another six months out of it. It'd be good to go. So when's the last time you've been house shopping? Uh, it's been a while. Miss K starts chirping about, let's go look at a house. I think it'll just be fun to look. Just to get it behind me, I said, I'll go look. When you get to town, side, look at this. Bumper to bumper traffic. We got blinking lights, the laws are pulling people over, side. Uptown living, you know, you got to call 911. Where I live, I am 911. Well, I'm excited, and you better behave and not act like a country bumpkin. Right. Look at this cat here, Phil. He's rubbing his hands together. Well, good morning. When a man goes and rubbing his hands together, when he looks at me, I'm thinking, uh-oh. You must be Phil. I'm what's left of him. My name is Greg Need. Pleasure to meet you. When I saw Greg Need, I just reached around, and I felt my back pocket to make sure my billfold was there. I always trust a real estate man, along with the lawyers and doctors. He's not going to slick me with that fast talk, that vacuum cleaner talk. No, sir. You got a spit cup in your rig? No, I don't. If you're going to sell houses, you know you got to provide these things. You know what I'm saying? No spit cups. I knew it was going to be a long day right then. This reeks of a subdivision, Greg Need. Now, we are talking about beautiful prime real estate. Is it big? Do you like big? I like big. It's big. Oh, my. Welcome to your new world. This may be a little much. It has a Vatican look about it. Does the Pope come with it? Believe it or not, this is strangely affordable. Strangely affordable. What does that mean? Old Greg Neal. Now, he's a salesman. He has dollar signs in his eyes. When Greg Neal takes the first shot, he makes it a good one. Whoa. This is a castle. Isn't this great? That's one word for it. Unbelievable. What in the world am I doing standing here talking to this cat? Let's all carry down the river. Sing along. I'm thinking instead of real estate, this is a real mistake. Here's your dining room when you have a party. I don't do parties. That little chandelier, $25,000. Dumb. This is part of your spa area. That would be nice when we baptize people in the winter. OK. Six kitchens, 12 bedrooms, a pool, marble everything. Phil, you deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> Eat, sleep, and mess with Miss K a little bit back in the back room is about all I'm getting out of a house. Oh, I'd take care of that right where I am. No problem. I think this is a little beyond what we had in mind. Mm -hmm. So... So let's go see another house. Greg Need is here for you. I see some mansions back there, too. Woo! That one of them looks like a castle. Looks like a what? Castle. I thought you said a <laughs> This K. <laughs> Here's your home. 3,400 square feet, three bathroom, two bedroom, a beautiful swimming pool, thousands of acres of land for you. It's a golf course. Yes. A what? This would be the ultimate way to torture Phil Robertson. Buy a house on a golf course, if he steps out on his porch, he can't shoot something. You talking about put a misery on a man? Greg, look here. Is this thing functional? Oh, yeah. Because I need to use the bathroom. For a man that travels everywhere he goes with a gallon of iced tea and a glass. Where's the bathroom at? Right there, right there. Hey, I've got to make a lot of pit stops. Matter of fact, I'm going to run. I'll be right back. This is where you can lie around and you can have your iced tea, side. Oh, I'll always have my iced tea. 
This is over 5,000 acres. They ain't but one problem with that, Greg. Hey, somebody owns that 5,000 acres, and they put a golf course on it. Yep. Yep. You need to be able to take a leak in your yard without anybody to say, you know, what's he doing? Think about that, when you can't even take a leak in your yard. Look here, what's this here, the outhouse? No, yeah, that's, that's where all the supplies are. That's a supply house. A oh. surprise house? Supply. Oh. Supply. What is this here, a menopause? A menopause? A menopause. I'm tired of being dragged around by Greg Need. Phil, this is where you're going to put your bar. Uh, yeah. Need keeps telling me how great the house is. Imagine. Boom. What do you think? It's all a, a ruse. I'm going to put an end to the house hunting stuff. What I'm oh. trying to say, Greg, is I'm done. So I'm saying? Phil, you've oh. made this money. Enjoy it with, with your lovely wife and love and sigh. Real estaters. They're like a snake in the grass. Hey, Don. Yeah. Hey, Good Don. Good job. Hey, you chop his head off, he'll still bite you. Greg Need doesn't give up. Yeah, sit close to your telephone. We'll give you a buzz.